our studio audience for this online television show, Unscripted Hollywood Dream Roll! <laughs> what you will see tonight is a Hollywood blockbuster. A Hollywood blockbuster created on this stage with no set, no budget, and no script. <gasps> yes, it's surprising. Well, we couldn't have a Hollywood blockbuster if we didn't have a Hollywood star. So, let me introduce to you, Julia Morris! <laughs>
a chance to play their dream role. The only catch is, there is no set, there is no budget, and there is no script. Will this be a dream role or a nightmare? Let's find out tonight in our star-studded presentation of Hollywood Dream Role.
took out the bins without me having to ask. He did all the washing up. He put on loads of laundry. He cleaned himself right up. He was my robot boss. And I built him from the ground up. Wow, if you think that's crazy, that's not true. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's actually crazy. That doesn't sound crazy. That doesn't sound crazy. Happy ever after. Yes, you were, weren't you? And pay that. Pay that. All right. A little later on, uh, Roxanne is sitting here uh, with Mojo Jojo. They're out uh, this outside. There's a little uh, outdoor time. She's looking at the trees. And uh, Mojo Jojo uh, walks up and sits down next to her. And action. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm Mojo Jojo. Okay. <laughs> what are you in for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> they say I've got a bad attitude. You know what it is, though? I'm just angry that life isn't the way it should be. It's nowhere near the way it should be. Yeah. That's not crazy, though. That's not crazy. So how come we're in here? Because I murdered people who stood oh, in my way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that can do it. Sometimes I feel like that, though. You know, I said to everybody that I was building a husband robot, and I wasn't. It was a bomb to kill people who wanted husband robots. And as they bought the husband robots, and they turned them on, and they started to make them do all their chores, they just blew up and killed them. But it didn't get there. Did you tell your lawyer this? No, I didn't tell you my lawyer. You could have totally gotten out with that information. I wasn't telling my lawyer. He's crazy. Oh, like everyone else. Listen, you gotta watch out for that nurse Frida. She's a freak of nature. Yeah. How come they're more mental than we are? Because they live here with us. Ah, yes. Do they take the same medication? No, they take the white ones. They only give us the orange ones. <laughs> they make me feel a little slow. Like I want to have a little nap. Could you take one? Only two. <gasps> You've got to keep your wits about you, because they'll get you. They'll teach you how to submit. They'll take you down to the basement and you'll never come back the same. I feel like a cup of tea. That's the first sign. And maybe a cookie. What's happening to me? I'm getting sweaty. We've got to figure out a way for you never to take your pills. Your eyes are crossing, your hair is falling out. Where? What? It was long a minute ago. Can you hear me? RP, can you hear me? I can feel the mojo near me. Is it so? It's so. I think I'm coming out of it. Thank God. Oh my God. Is that what the orange pill does to you? Especially when you take two. I did take two. I took somebody else's because I thought they were going to send me off at the party and you don't need me be my love in you, but no. I'm <laughs> sleepy. A word of advice. Pretend you're taking them and then put them up your pooper. <laughs> All right, the camera spins around and uh, goes up into a tower uh, in the administration building and uh, we see uh, Frida, Nurse Frida there, and she's talking to uh, the, uh, the, her boss who's in charge of the hospital, some administrative guy. Uh, they're talking about the new patient, Roxanne Penelope. Um, and action. I take it you've heard about the new patient, the double name. 
name of Roxanne Penelope? No, a double namer. Well, we've seen her type before. <laughs> No, oh, don't remind me about 62. But it wasn't half as bad as 73. 73. Daniel Scott. <laughs> well, what are we going to do with this one? I think we've got some opportunities here. You think so, with her science background? Yeah, she built a giant robot. But <laughs> she was making out with it. <laughs> definitely, definitely sexual regression. Yes. Then she made it shop for curtains. <laughs> homosexual. <laughs> homosexual regression. You think, you think the robot was homosexual? I think they're all homosexuals. Especially in here. Repressed homosexual sexual regression. <laughs> There's not enough orange pills around to cure this. <laughs> I see. So you're saying, repressed homosexuality is running through the wars. If we can cure it just like that, we could win the wars. Christians are throwing money at people who say, who say, No longer gay. Homosexuality. We can Oh, heterosexuality. <laughs> did, did you have some thoughts on this? <laughs> I want to turn your body into the kind of robot I would like. One who runs on batteries. You know what I'm talking about. I got a D cell. Oh yeah. D C B E. Who cares? Not me. As long as we're doing it all over the world, and nobody may be looking at me, baby. Homosexuality. Crazy sex vibe. We'll make them watch us do it from nine to five. Oh, that's eight nine. hours of doing it. I think I can do it. I got a little chase, but those orange pills help out. Oh, yeah, the orange pills. And Penelope's there, and uh, some of the other crazy people. Um, and uh, Butch, the the um, uh, she brings the pills out to give to everybody. And Mojo Jojo is probably out there too. So yeah, you meet some of the other crazy people. And action! So do you guys all take the pills? Yeah, I take the pills so I don't think about all the times I got raped and molested. Okay, good times. I like the orange ones. The orange ones? They're the best. I take six. And what happens to you when you take the orange ones? I get to go outside. Oh, okay. uh, line up. Remember, RP. I don't think. I don't really care which ones you take. As long as they're not on the tray. When the doctor, hey, slow down. <laughs> you want help with yours? Here, here that's like mine. As Roxanne approaches, everything goes into super slow motion. <laughs> and there's some trippy music that plays. <laughs>
and uh, nurse, uh, the nurse appears, Nurse Frida, to come and ask her why she caused a disturbance. And action. Sexuality. 
homosexual? She's trying to build a man robot. Well, a lot of times when people are homosexual, they act out and straight. We should play with just one ball instead of both of these. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, uh, we now go to, uh, to Penelope. She's, uh, she's in her cell again, and Mojo Jojo comes up to that little hole. He sneaks up to the hole, and they're talking. He's talking to the hole, and she's not talking to the hole. All right, and action. to escape. 
It's our destiny. Look, we're on a roller coaster discussing life.
Roxanne sings a final lament. I was pretending I was crazy when I first came here. <laughs> to be my homosexual gay husband who was not my and they thought I was crazy. Well then I fell in love with a guy girl called Jojo Jojo and he Thank you. 